Hey, oh, today I'm going to add some metadata in Cool Edit Pro. So let's go. Uh, in the WAV editor view, just right click somewhere on your track, and I've just got some guitar playing here. Pretend that's a finished track though. Uh, if you right click and go to WAV properties or WAV properties down the bottom there, here you go, there's plenty of fields to fill in here. I've just got it set to MP3 at the minute at the top, but there's a couple of extra things. So let's just fill these things in. Song title, guitar song, artist, Tim Green, album name, let's do a stereo, sounds like a, an album name, genre, acoustic I guess, there's loads to chuck. Most to choose from blues is one of them. <laughs> um, uh, acoustic, there you go. And I think that's it. Oh, it's year 2020. And uh, let's try the other one radio industry. So, end date May. Uh, and I don't want to put them in. Producer Tim. Uh, account exclusive ex executive. Ooh, loads of things to fill in there, and you can faff about with them. Let's go into standard RIFF. See if there's any more fields that open up. Digitization source. Um, I guess that's if it's coming from like a tape or something like that. Original medium. Yeah. Uh, you you might be transferring stuff over. Um, and that's the person who transferred it I guess. Copyright, I guess you could put in your ISRC code in there if you want. Cop uh, software package, Cool Edit Pro, of course. Um, uh, let's have a look. I think that's it. So we've got standard RFF, we have radio industry, and we had MP3 track. Oh, let's put in track number one there on the MP3. And that's carried through there. That's okay. So yeah, that'll do. I think there's some other uh, file things across the top. Um, if you go into MISC, that's got um, a thing where you could upload like the album artwork. It's got to be bitmap though, so you'll have to change it over. Um, so you'll have a picture that appears in in the uh, you know in the media players. Um, I think that's about it. And that'll do. So I'll click OK. And then let's save this. So let's go File, Save As. Um, I'm going to have it as a Windows PC. Let's have Guitar Song. Guitar Song. Uh, save the web. That'll do. Let's save it to the appropriate folder. And then File, Save As. I'm going to save it as an MP3 as well. So MP3 Pro. In this little options button down here, you can change the sort of the resolution and the the kilobits per second. 320, 44.1 is really good. I think um, a lot of people do. I think it's 190, it's 192 or 128 or something. But 320 is the the best, I think. Okay. So that's that. Guitar song MP3 save, and this will pop up saying. Uh, that you're going to uh, change it to a lossy format. That's all right, it just loses information when it goes from MP3, sorry, from WAV to MP3. Some of the some of the information in the file is just sort of lost into the ether. Don't know where it goes. Um, same place as my socks, probably. Um, and plectrums. So that's that. Yes, I want to save it as an MP3. So let's see um, if that's worked then. Let's go into the folder. And there you go, it's appearing in the folder as the uh, that's the title of song, track number, that's the album name, contributing artist, so that's, that's good, I think that's the mp3. Yes, and the WAV file has come up with the, uh, the title and the contributing artist there. So that's good, let's go into media player and play that. So uh, let's go in guitar song, uh, play. Yeah, it's playing. It's come up as Tim Green there, guitar song. Properties. That's the kilobit rate there. Uh, 
Um, and there we go. So that's pretty good. That's all the bits we need to know. So that's it. That's adding metadata in Cool Edit Pro. There's a Cool Edit Pro Facebook group that you can join. Ask any questions in there. There's lots of people who are willing to um, share their knowledge on on um, uh, Cool Edit Pro. Um, and if you can help someone out as well, feel free to help other people out. Um, uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'll put up some more videos of this kind of nature, like exploring Cool Edit Pro and trying to uh, figure out some of its uh, fantastic features. Catch you next time.